Hi, everyone. Francis, can you say hello to everyone? Yeah, can you say hello? So today we're going to be painting one of her favorite toys, which is a giraffe. You like the giraffe? No, not right now? It's a giraffe. <laughs> we like the giraffe because she likes to eat it. She's uh, teething right now, so it's a good chew toy. And we also not only love our giraffe toy, yeah, but we love Giraffes Can't Dance. It's one of our favorite books. Uh, you might even have this book at home. So we are going to be painting a giraffe today. You can use whatever materials you can find around your house. So we're going to start with drawing. And I'm going to paint mine in, but you can paint or color or do whatever you want with yours. Yeah, you got your giraffe? Okay, here we go. Let's get started. Okay, guys. Oh, excuse me, boys. My dogs like to sleep right beneath my canvas. So I'm always trying to maneuver around them. We're going to start with the, watch out, cow, nose of our giraffe by drawing a large oval in the middle of our paper. Remember, if you can't do it perfect on the first try, that's okay. Just do short little strokes, just like that. Yeah. Here we go. I got more paint. Okay. Then we're going to do two nostrils by drawing little circles right here. We're going to put a little smile right here. I'm going to just draw half a smile like that. Then we're going to draw the sides of the face by drawing two lines. One, two. From the tops of those, we'll add ears by drawing kind of like a smile shape right here with a rainbow shape on top. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then we'll do it the same thing over here. We'll draw a smile shape right here. Uh-huh. And a rainbow shape on top, just like that. Now we're going to draw, I guess these are horns. I don't really know what they're called. Two skinny lines, one, two just like that we'll do the same thing on the other side one and two and we'll put a little rainbow shape for the top and draw a zigzag line underneath to make it look like hair okay draw a little rainbow shape on top with a zigzag line down up down up down up for the hair there okay we're going to give our giraffe some hair on top of his head. So we're going to do a zigzag line like this. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. And then we're going to draw the eyes. You can do the eyes however you want. I'm going to do mine using some circles. So I'm going to put one circle right here and one circle right there. Now, giraffes are known for their long, skinny neck, so we're going to draw a long, skinny neck, and our giraffe's body will be going off the page. So we're going to draw one long, skinny line, just like that, okay? And I'm going to draw another one over here, just like that, okay? Now, giraffes also have spots, so we're going to draw some spots on our giraffe. Okay, now they're not like Dalmatian spots. They're not like Jaguar spots. They're almost, in some ways, kind of like square type spots. So I'm gonna draw a few like round cornered boxes to make the spots on my giraffe, like that. Mm -hmm. The last thing I'm going to draw are going to be the insides of the ears right here. And I'm just going to draw a smaller version inside. So rainbow, smile. Rainbow, smile. There we go. Okay, I'm going to draw the background and then I'm going to paint it all in.
Okay, so that concludes our giraffe painting. Thanks for joining us today. I'd love to see your creations. Post them in the comments below. Remember, every day, I hope that you get outside and enjoy the fresh air, be creative, read as much as you can, help around the house, and always remember, kindness matters. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.